Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Shari Aqil. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa received at Rafar Palace the BDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness praised his efforts in enhancing the performance level of the BDF and contributing to the progress and prosperity of the Kingdom. His Royal Highness also discussed with the BDF Commander the BDF's plans and strategies and their role in maintaining the security and stability of the region in cooperation with brotherly countries. His Royal Highness praised the capabilities of the human capital in its combat readiness to defend the homeland, its sovereignty and its gains according to the wise vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with the outgoing Secretary General of the Gulf Cooperation Council, the GCC, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani at Ghudaybiya Palace. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince praised the efforts of Dr. Al Zayani in strengthening cooperation among the GCC countries and the wider region, as well as his role in advancing truly collective action from the General Secretariat. His Royal Highness then informed Dr. Zayani of His Majesty the King's wishes to appoint him Minister of Foreign Affairs. His Royal Highness praised the success of Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa during his tenure as Minister of Foreign Affairs, especially his contribution to the advancement and promotion of the Kingdom's international agenda. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince wished him the very best in his new position as His Majesty the King's advisor for diplomatic affairs. For his part, Dr. Zayan expressed appreciation for the trust instilled in him by His Majesty the King and thanked His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for his support towards the enhancement of GCC cooperation and regional prosperity. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirmed the keenness and support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa towards heritage sports for His Majesty's keenness to maintain national heritage. His Highness added that His Majesty's support helped in enhancing these sports and developing them, which led to witnessing numerous accomplishments in this field and various participation. His Highness then praised the role of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor and President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, in implementing the Royal Directives. His Highness said that holding the Nasser bin Hamad season for falconry is one of the many initiatives of His Highness Sheikh Nasser that aim to maintain national gains and heritage and also gives the youth the opportunity to participate. His Highness then wished all the participants success. The Representatives Council expressed pride in the pioneering civilization achievements in the constitutional and legislation fields that were accomplished in the prosperous era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The Council affirmed that all these accomplishments are the result of the wise visions and directives of His Majesty the King and his aspiration to achieve the best for the country and its people, as well as achieve further progress and prosperity, which are all based on state law institutions, justice, and human rights, consolidating the principles of belonging and promoting the values of citizenship. The Council also praised the role of the Minister of Royal Courts, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, in supporting the Legislative Authority and issuing the book, The Legislative Renaissance in the Kingdom of Bahrain during 20 years, on the occasion of the National Day celebrations, which were prepared by the General Department of Legal and Political Affairs at the Royal Court. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs has strongly condemned the attempt to storm the United States Embassy in the Republic of Iraq, which is a clear violation of the Vienna Convention on Diplomatic Relations and other international norms and covenants, and is considered an attack on the security and safety of the Embassy staff. In a statement, the Foreign Ministry stressed the need for all parties in the Republic of Iraq to adhere to responsibility and restraint. It also affirms the position of the Kingdom of Bahrain that supports the efforts of the Iraqi government to establish security and stability and strengthen the rule of law in the Republic of Iraq, expressing its wishes of further development and stability for the brotherly Iraqi people.